Hi, I hope you're well. My name's Emily Scott and I'm a chef, writer and restaurateur from Cornwall and I'm delighted to be here with you today. Thank you so much to The White Company for inviting me along to share some of my recipes with you. I am passionate about cooking within the seasons. For a long time I've always talked about seasonality and keeping things simple in the kitchen. So today I'm going to cook one of my favourite recipes from my spring chapter of my book Sea and Shore. Crab linguine is one of my favourite dishes and I hope that I will inspire you today to have a go at cooking it. In this recipe I've got some fennel, I've got some parsley, I've got some lemon, I've got some chilli and I've also got delicious Cornish crab. I've also, which is a little bit controversial, at the end shaving some parmesan over the top. So we're going to start off by cutting the fennel. Now fennel is one of my favourite vegetables and it's a little underrated or maybe a little like, like, like Marmite. You either love it or you hate, you hate it but it goes really really well with crab. So we're just going to take, start by taking the outer leaves off and then all we're going to do is slice it thinly. You could use a mandolin for this if you have one but I just find using my knife and cutting very thin slices that we're going to pop into the bowl and then we're going to add some lemon juice, lemon zest and then all we're going to do is chop some chilli and some parsley as well. At this point I'm just going to turn on my water for the pasta. We're going to put a little bit of salt into the water and we're going to bring that to the boil and that's going to cook the linguine. Right, so we're now going to put some lemon zest into the raw fennel. Now there are lots of different ways to cook linguine but I'm going to keep the fennel raw but basically when the hot linguine hits the fennel it's going to cook it through a little bit but I personally prefer the, the taste of the fennel slightly less cooked. And then we're going to halve a lemon and we're going to put some juice in there. So lemons are one of the most important ingredients in my kitchen. Lemons can lift lift a dish. So always have a bowl of lemons in your kitchen and also for me they're a little like a little bowl of sunshine. So do that and then we just use your hand as a a slight sieve so the pips don't go in. So I've got flat leaf parsley which I prefer to use um, and we're just going to chop that up quite roughly. Herbs are very important in my kitchen. Even if you have a small garden to um, grow herbs just outside your kitchen on your windowsill, herbs are so important and I see them throughout the year um, in like in slight musical notes. You've got your high note herbs in the summer, your basil, mint, and then you've got lower note herbs in the autumn and winter months. So just going to chop up that parsley nice and roughly and then add that to the fennel. So I've just sliced a chilli in half. Remember the heat is all in the seeds, so remove the seeds and then we're just going to chop up the red chilli. And not only does this add a little bit of heat to the dish but also lots of colour. What I love most about living in Cornwall is how close coast to coast we are. I live on the north coast where my restaurant is and where also we live as well. And what I love most is the rugged north coast, kind of the surfing beaches, the dramatic cliffs. But also very close coast to coast is the south, which is much softer with flowers and sailing boats. And for me, cooking's all about where I get my ingredients from and the provenance. So for me, it's not always about what I do in the kitchen, it's about the people that bring the ingredients to my kitchen. Right, so now all I've got to do is got to cook the pasta. That will take about 10 minutes. So you need 80 grams to 100 grams of linguine per person. So we're now gonna add the crab. I've got white crab meat. You can use brown crab meat as well, but I prefer just using white. So I've got it here. It's 250 grams of white crab meat. A good tip before you do this is just to go through the crab on a tray 
and just gently feel if there's any shell. So that's the crab going in. And then we're going to add a glug of olive oil and then some black pepper and then some Cornish sea salt. I'm going to mix all this in and you can see all those delicious flavours and I think it's so pretty, I think I love, I love the colours, the lemon zest, the pop of the red chilli, so beautiful against the white of the dishes. So I'm now going to drain the pasta, so you want the pasta to be al dente. So I'm just going to reserve a little bit of the, the water that I've cooked the pasta in just to loosen up the finished dish a little bit. So drain it off and now all we're going to do is go straight into the dish and then together we're just going to give it a stir. So we're now going to put this pasta into a clean serving bowl that I'm going to put on the middle of the table so everyone can just help themselves, which I love. I love serving food that way. So we just want to pile the crab on top of the linguine. Make sure that the edges are nice and clean to serve. And then all we're going to do is add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Just add a little bit more flavor. Another good grind of pepper. A little bit more sea salt and then on my crab linguine always some parmesan which gives it a really lovely savoury savoury flavour and there we go here's my crab linguine if I've inspired you to recreate this at home please head to the white company's website thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon